when a man says he's not ready for a relationship and he only wants sex. He means it. Now when she decides to sleep with the guy with her delusional cerebrum and lack of self-awareness, she has the audacity to ask, Hey, why do people hate the truth? Especially, you know. Let me ask you this. When you saw the elephant in the room, how did it make you feel? It made me feel uncomfortable. And there's your answer. Hence why you chose to ignore it. I rest my case. Greetings everyone. Juliana here. Welcome to Male Conversations Unlocked. The classroom for men where common sense is not what you were born with but what you were taught. We have in our midst a guest who needs no introduction to the audience, as he is so famous that his appearance is instantly recognizable the moment he is seen. Welcome the monster of Frankenstein. Well, the contemporary version of course. Please, call me Francis. I'm so honored to be here on your program, Juliana. I've been around a long time, and I must say that I keep seeing a constant representation and reminder of why I existed in the first place, especially among the women of this generation and some before them. I know exactly what you mean. I saw the same thing when looking at today's world. And while men are also involved, the majority seems to be women, as even other women are now getting tired of other women ruining their chances of finding a man. So to clear up the confusion, please give them a rundown of your background if you don't mind. No problem. I'm normally mistaken for Dr. Frankenstein, which in truth I'm actually the monster that was created by the doctor. In the century since the legendary 1816 evening when Mary Shelley and still the teenage Mary Godwin first began to tell the tale of Victor Frankenstein and his monster. That story of horror and hubris has become one of the world's most recognizable narratives. I also, these days, star one of the world's most recognizable characters. I'm now a Halloween mainstay. With the green tint and seeing skin is instantly recognizable as you said earlier. You and I both agreed earlier that the women today or rather their behaviors represents how you're created and why you will continue to exist if they don't acknowledge their creation. In this contemporary era where the women are programmed to abash themselves in any way, shape, or form, I am reanimated from their psychological state and mindset which, when avoided, destroys both themselves, others around them, and also makes them become a liability to men and also society instead of an asset. So what are these things you speak of? There are quite a few of them. However, there are for main states I represent for modern women. They are delusion, lack of self-awareness, entitlement and unaccountability, or in other words, lack of responsibility. Oh no. You just struck a nerve there. And everybody knows that women don't like to hear those kind of statements because they automatically assume that you're misogynistic and toxic. And to tell you the truth, most women don't even have a clue what those words even mean. They only use those words because that's what's in style and they don't want to feel left out. Exactly. You just proved my point. And this is why I will continue to exist in their lives until they face and accept their creation which will bring them more peace than misery. When Dr. Victor Frankenstein went to university, he succeeded in germinating life. However, in trying to create a being in the mold of men, he fashioned a hideous monster. The monster runs off and wreaks havoc, and Frankenstein loses control of his creation. Out in the mountains, the monster finds Frankenstein and asks him for a female companion. Frankenstein gave his word to create one, but he did not want to be complicit in the propagation of similar creatures, so he broke his vow and goes back on his word. The monster, enraged, kills Frankenstein's close friends and family. Do you see the relation yet? Are you saying that if women fail to accept that actions have consequences, that they have to work towards their designated goal in order to get the best outcomes, and to throw in a bonus that not all men want you, which I think is one of the biggest misconceptions a woman has, 
Then you will end up alone just like Dr. Frankenstein, both emotionally which is quite evident right now, and socially, as it relates to being old with no man. Definitely. Am I saying that all women are trying to wreak havoc? No. But there's a vast majority of women. Let's say around 75-80% especially with the westernized mindset that are ignoring the hideous creation and thus infecting those who are trying to hold on to what moral and logical thinking they have left. And that's not what we want. You're right. That's definitely not what we want. So are there any situations or scenarios that you could use to help the women understand how they become female Frankensteins and create the very monsters that destroys them and others around them? Yes, there are many scenarios, probably ones many women didn't even think about. I'm going to break down for situations in which leads most women to create the monsters we talk about. In other words, yours truly. Please enlighten us. First scenario, marriage versus divorce. Do you realize that women are getting divorced for fun? This is because many women today went into the marriage as a bride and not a wife. Many go into marriage bankrupt and came out millionaires or some with three different checks. Child support alimony, and settlement of assets, none of which she worked for. Hence why women don't like prenups because it forces them to fulfill the duties that was given to them when they made their vows. You see that's where the entitlement comes in. Lack of self-awareness kicks in when she fails to realize that she has children. She's getting old and would be less desired by another successful man like the one she divorced. Her delusion is that she believes that he is unable to get another woman like you when in reality he is actually doing better, getting in shape, already successful, and you will always get a woman younger, less entitled and more attractive than you. But you can't find a man that would provide like he did, and that's where she becomes unaccountable. And with that comes the number one statement. He was an abusive man, and he was cheating on me, in order to gain the sympathy of the masses. So all this eventually backfires on you because you failed to acknowledge that from day one you knew the consequences of your actions. But you created your monster. Didn't like your outcome even though you got something from it so you rejected your state. And now you're bitter and alone. Whose fault is that? That's why you can't blame the men who don't want marriages now when seeing the Dr. Dre. The Bill Gates, the Jeff Bezos and especially the Will Smith and Dwayne Wade scenarios unfold in front of their eyes. And those men basically have it all. So what would you say about the average men? Because until it benefits them in the way that doesn't seem one-sided, the society is going to be seriously affected. And women survive better when they're in marriages. And men are some of the happiest I've ever seen since they decided not to marry and women are seeing it, and they don't like it one bit. The second scenario, women body shaming women. If there's anything that women are good at, that is shaming women for their bodies, especially when a female that was overweight loses weight and feels better about herself than she's ever been before. Don't get this misconstrued. It's not that the women doing the shaming of these women genuinely despise them. It's not that simple. They often see that as the women selling them out. This situation happened to both celebrities Adele and Jasmine Sullivan who faced body shaming from. You guessed it, women. If you notice that when most women, who are in that stage of their life, see someone else as overweight as they are, they become comfortable knowing that they don't have to make any effort to become what she truly wants to be, which is in shape. So what do you think will happen when the other woman decide to do what she knows is the logical thing to do? They body shame them, or in this case fit shame them. Not because the women lost the weight but because it highlights the fact that weight is something they can control and that they didn't acknowledge their monster and having to watch those women creating more opportunities for themselves health-wise and especially dating-wise. Do you know what is truly fat shaming? And I'm sure a lot of women know this scenario all too well. This is when a woman who is very attractive or in shape looks at an overweight woman and tells her she is lovely the way she is and then goes on to steal the same man that that shaped woman so highly desired. Let that sink in. Ouch. I felt that one a bit. I don't think the women fat snitched. 
They just went to the overweight police, made a deal and decided to turn over a new leaf where life is less burdensome. And women who accept this reality in turn help other women to overcome their monsters as well. Well said. The third scenario is women and multiple baby daddies. And the crazy belief that they are entitled to a rich man to come in and take care of all those kids with his hard-earned money as if he owns a children's home. Believe it or not, that's not desirable for men. Hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. That sounds offensive, don't you think? Yes, it might sound that way to the average thinking female which is most of them, overvoting their vaginas thinking they're A students when they're constantly getting F's on their report cards. Do you think that when a woman has a child by one guy and then goes to another guy and gets another child and eventually ends up with seven different baby fathers, is to be praised? I'm not sure how to answer that. So please tell me what you think. No. Why? She made her choice when she created the circumstances by continuing to reject her monster after she had the first child by the man she didn't want in the first place. And what do you think happens? She starts to blame society and men for why she has so much children. You see, when things don't turn out the way people want them to, they easily blame others for their actions. Taking responsibility for one's doing is easy if the outcome is accepted by others. But if the outcome is bad, they easily pass the responsibility to others. And that's because humans are prone to blame others for mistakes they make. So in some cases with a multiple baby daddy situation, with such an unpleasant outcome, she chooses to have babies by the same types of men with the hope of trapping a man to pain and taking care of all of the other children along with his own, and is willing to withhold his child from him if he doesn't sponsor the others as well, which eventually ends sour. Women will definitely agree. However, for some it might not be so easy to do, because this might relate to their current situation. Last, but not least, is one of the most popular scenarios when it comes to dating or hooking up. Is when a man says I'm not ready for a relationship. But, hey, if you still want me to open that music box, then that's all it's going to be. Now I must say that this is one monster, most. If not all women create after they develop the so-called I can change your mentality, or my box is the best box you'll ever get in order to dismiss the fact that not all men want to be with you, and that you too can get rejected by men. But we all know that taking no for an answer is not in almost all women's vocabulary and is often overlooked because men are often the highlighted as the poster children of rejection. Hence, the narrative being told that women can handle rejection better than men when common sense would tell you that women are hardly in the position to face such a feat. You see, when a man says he's not ready for a relationship, and he only wants sex, he means it. Now when she decides to sleep with the guy with her delusional cerebrum and lack of self-awareness, she has the audacity to ask, Where is this going? Or, What do you see me as? And he responds, I already told you that I'm not ready for a relationship. This is just sex. She then proceeds to say things like, I can't believe that you were using me. I felt manipulated. All men are dogs. And might go on and falsely accuse him of something that can send him to jail out of her irresponsibility and being stupid. Creating a self-hypnotic environment to escape from what could have been avoided. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? Learn something from this. I think that is one of the most popular situations that most women probably will never learn from. And as you said earlier when things don't turn out the way people want them to, they easily blame others for their actions. Taking responsibility for one's doing is easy if the outcome is accepted by others. But if the outcome is bad, they easily pass the responsibility to others. Exactly. Let me tell you something consequences have their respective prices and are very expensive. Either you're going to pay it monthly, yearly, on higher purchase or in full, but it has to be paid if you don't understand what you're creating. I can also see this with OnlyFans models, female adult stars and BBL influencers who chose this path, but not willing to accept what comes with the territory. Hence, 
encouraging other women to create monsters of their own thinking that they too can avoid the outcomes. But that's not the case. However, if you're looking for the bag, then you don't have to take into consideration what your outcomes would be, which normally happens, since these modern women seem to be short-term thinkers. But if you plan on having a relationship or hope to seek a potential candidate, the probability of getting married or becoming a long-term girlfriend is slim to none. The most you're going to get is the title of a side chick, a pump and dump or an unwanted baby mama by a rapper or a jail abiding citizen. You go to bed at night, you lay there, and you take responsibility for yourself. Because nobody's going to take responsibility for you. If you think that the rappers or athletes that you want are going to wife you up, then obviously you didn't hear what Drake said in his song Raise My Mind. And it goes like this. You to saucy, to flossy you moved and then moved off me. All to be with jiggers who just starting to move bossy. Maybe I just handled you to softly. Them boys got no callus in they blood. If your whole heart wasn't in it I know a piece of it was. Post it that pic you sent me it wasn't recent enough. How I'm supposed to wife it? You not a yeesha enough. You love getting teed up. Love showing the cakes. You know that they eat it up. Deal with your Frankenstein creation before you face the ultimate emotional consequence. Since getting an augmented feature is not going to make a man say. You know what? I think I would like to keep her. Class, dismiss. <laughs>